everyone. So for our English video today, I thought I would take a screenshot of one of our um, slides of our PowerPoint and just show you my waggle, what a good one looks like. So from the very first starting points of our story, um, the children created their own settings. So this is the one we created as a class, so with clouds. And then we had our adjectives to help us and the children created their own sentences to do with their settings. Then the children created their own characters, they named them, circled adjectives and described, they put their adjectives into sentences to describe their character. After that, the children created their own piece of rubbish with their keywords. Again, they put these keywords into sentences and this is something that you'll have with you because we've done this since we've left the classroom. And then finally, we get to here where we created a picture of our story to help us to see um, what we're going to write and how we're going to put our things into sentences. So there's been a lot of build up that's happened to get us to this point and this is the part in our story where we're going to tie everything together. Now before you started out English I asked you to read up to page 1415 of our class story The Messy Magpie because we are retelling a section of that story. So Messy Magpie is going to come into our story now and take our piece of rubbish back to his nest because that is the finish point of our story. So let's have a look then. So I have started mine with a story starter. I will pop that up on the PowerPoint for you uh, as a template for lots of different, different story starters. So the first thing that we need to write about is Morris Magpie's entrance. So I put a moment later, comma, a moment later, Morris Magpie arrived with an exclamation mark because I want my reader to think, Morris Magpie's arrived. <sighs> Amazing. The next thing I want to do is I want to describe how Morris Magpie flies. I want to make sure my reader really understands that Morris Magpie has come into my story and how he is flying around whatever my setting might be. So obviously your reader is not going to have your picture to help them see your story. They're going to rely just on your writing so your writing needs to be so super fantastic which i know it will be um so it needs to have some wonderful adjectives in it so why i've actually pinched this one i've borrowed this one from the morris magpie story from the messy magpie story um, because they use um, the adjective swooped when they describe how morris magpie picks up the car from the can from the car so i've pinched that one a little bit i've borrowed that one so it says he swooped through the air and gently took the crisp packet from Bob Lob's hand. So here where I've got describe how Morris Magpie takes the rubbish. I know from my last piece of writing. So if I reread my last piece of writing that Bob Lob, that the piece of rubbish is in Bob Lob's hand. So I wanted to use some adjectives to describe how Morris Magpie is going to take that piece of rubbish from my main character. So I said, he gently took the crisp packet. Where from? From Bob Lob's hand. My next sentence is a mixture of these two. So I wanted to give a little bit more information about how Morris Magpie has my piece of rubbish. Now, obviously, Bob Glob could hold the piece of rubbish in his hand because he has hands. But Morris Magpie doesn't have hands. He has claws and he has a beak. So I decided to describe that Morris Magpie held my piece of rubbish in his claw in sorry in his claws so Morris Magpie dug his sharp claws into the crisp packet and took it back to his nest so this last part because we are tying all of our sentence all of our story all together for the last part of our sentence I'd like our sentences our stories to be to finish with took it back to his nest and I've cut it off there because obviously your um, sentence may start with Morris Magpie took it back to his nest and you might not have this part here it just depends 
on what's in your story because all of your setting and your characters and your rubbish are going to be different to mine but it's to show you what it could look like so morris magpie took it back to his nest because that is the end of our story of morris magpie taking a piece of rubbish back to his nest I really hope this helps you guys. If you've got any questions, please just let me know. But that is what a good one looks like. And tomorrow we will be um, we will be publishing our work. So we'll be writing the whole of our story up in really beautiful, neat handwriting. That's all for now. Thank you, guys.